Why don't I just put it on my hair? Ah! No! <laughs> I didn't tell her I was gonna do this, but I feel like she has suspicions. Yeah, she has Hi, it's Nami and um yeah, this is happening. I am gonna bleach my hair. So let's just get to it and I'll kind of talk about why <laughs> while I'm doing it. I'm worried guys. Okay, let's just do this. So I'm gonna use today, first time I'm using Schwarzkopf Blonde Me. This is a high lift bleach and it also has bond enforcement as well. So I'm not gonna use Olaplex because it already has bond enforcement. It lifts up to nine levels. Mmm, it smells good. It smells like my childhood. <laughs> it smells like how my mom smelt when I was a child. I'm so excited guys. Wow, the powder's so fine. Wow, and it doesn't like, wow. Look at it, it's like granular. It doesn't clump together. <laughs> so I've been watching a lot, a lot, a lot of hair videos to prepare myself for this day. <laughs> I found this hairstylist on YouTube. His name is Jeffrey, but his work is like amazing. It's actually amazing. He uses 20 volume and he gets like Asian black hair all the way up to platinum blonde. So I'm gonna be using his technique today and I don't know if I'll do a good job, but I mean, if it doesn't work out, I'll just keep going. For developer, I'm using 20 volume, uh, sensitive scalp from Ion. Got a lot of product here. Usually you're supposed to do the ends first as per uh, Brad Bundle says, <laughs> but I do have a one-to-one -one ratio here, which hopefully, <sighs> I don't know. Let's just try this. Oh my gosh, it's so fine. There's like hardly any clumping while I'm mixing it compared to like cheaper bleach. Honestly, my biggest fear right now is Mina waking up. Like I just fed her and hopefully she'll stay asleep. But if she wakes up, like this is game over for me. <laughs> oh, my forearm. This is, this is happening guys, this is happening. Am I ready? I don't know, probably not. The more I mix, the thicker it gets. Oh, parapa. I wish I had like a hand mix. Yeah. <laughs> Now I do have bleached ends, virgin root, and a bit of a balayage going on here with permanent color. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put it all over my head. Once I see white, I'm going to wash it out. And then wherever is not developed, I'm going to just apply more there. Because I feel like color correcting like that would be much easier than to avoid my roots. Put it on my bleached ends, like put it all over my bleached ends. I'd rather first bleach off the color, bleach off the permanent color, and then go in and try to fix whatever is happening, I guess. Ah, what did I get myself into? The regret has begun! It's a lot thicker than it was. I'm gonna use a brush like this because it's gonna help me distribute the color. Thank you, Moss. I will stay off the scalp though. When I was watching a Brad Mondo video, he was saying like, you want your bleach to be thick, like toothpaste. So I guess that's what your girl gonna be doing here. She's gonna be putting toothpaste. Oh, quiet. Oh, the quality of the bleach, though. Oh, bleach on my forehead. Ooh, burning my eyes. Oh my gosh, it just kicked in that this is actually happening. <laughs> this bleach is on my hair. Wow, there is no turning back. So actually, Michael is not home right now. My husband's not home. He's actually um, at a retreat. And so he'll be in for a surprise when he gets home. Um, his blonde wife will be have returned. Will be have returned. Blonde Nami is back. Back at it again with the bleach, Nami. <laughs> Back at it again with the bleach. Oh yeah, scary. It's like literally toothpaste, guys. Oh man, I'm kind of scared because I've never actually done a full head of hair bleach myself. So I honestly don't know how this will go. <laughs> this is the moment where I regret. Wow, it took off the red immediately. Oh, I'm worried. 
Maybe I shouldn't be putting it on my ends, but I didn't want the red to be. Oh, I'm scared. Okay. It's okay. It's okay, Nani. It's okay. So what Jeffrey does is he like takes really, really, really skinny, skinny, skinny sections. And he goes and like really pastes it on. Like it looks thick. I should have asked my mom to help me. But I kind of want to surprise her at the same time. She would have said no. <laughs> you know what? Okay. Why don't I just put it on my hair? I'm gonna comb through too. Oh, why did I? Why did I do this? At this point, I feel like it's better just to slather it on, brush through it, go and section it. And then, and then make it thicker that way. Okay, at this point, I'm gonna start on the other side of my head because I'm worried that one side's gonna be darker. It can be done with 20 volume, they said. It just takes time, they said. No, it takes all your energy, too. <laughs> oh, this is much better technique. I call it the glove technique. I'm taking incredibly thin sections. Wow, I've never done such thin sections before. If I don't have bombing hair after this. Oh, my ends are turning blonde. I'm worried. What if they get all gummy again? This is taking forever. How long has it been? Oh my gosh, it's been an hour. Huh? My hair is short. Wow. It's so even. Oh, I'm almost done the bottom. Oh, I'm so tired. Man. There's no turning back. Honestly, I don't recommend anyone doing this at home. Honestly, just go to your salons. <laughs> this is a pain. Oh my gosh. What did I get myself into? Wow. Ah! No! <laughs> Why? Wow. How do I do this again? Ah, I remember. <laughs> Hopefully this time around my hair stays healthy. I don't know if I'll be able to manage doing 20 volume all the time though. Because it's literally death. Imagine doing this with foils. Oh gosh. Honestly, I thought I was going to grow out my roots and keep black hair for like a good two years. I kind of impromptu decided that I do want the colored hair back and the bleached hair, it was fun. A big factor for me is that you guys enjoyed it. Like if you didn't enjoy it and I wanted it back, but you guys didn't want me to do my hair, then I think I would have like restrained myself a bit more. That was really fun. Especially the video of Michael washing my hair. That was so hilarious. Start from the bottom. Started from the bottom, now we're here. That's right. Started from the bottom, now the whole thing's here. Right. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Okay, okay. <laughs> Do you love me? Are you ready? I was re-watching it and I was like, man, I want this. I want this back. So yeah, this is happening. Okay, hairstylist out there, can you please tell me like when you mix products, do you take off your gloves or do you leave them on? Because I feel like I'd have to take off my gloves so that my products don't get messy because my gloves get messy. And about last week, I was thinking and talking to Michael about it. We were actually thinking it wouldn't be a bad idea for me to go to hair school because I was thinking about specializing in hair color. It's been about like a year and a half since I seriously considered it. And even like today, my mom told me do it because I have an eye for color. And I think that's why like I'm a makeup artist too because makeup is all about color. I think that's like kind of what convinced me, I guess. And I feel like it'll help with my videos too. Like when I started dyeing my hair, I had no idea what I was doing. And I still don't really know as much what I'm doing compared to how much I should be knowing for 
you know, working with chemicals. Oh, there's clumps still. <sighs> so hard mixing this thing. So I wasn't sure when I was going to actually start doing my hair again. Because I knew like I might eventually come back. But maybe in like two years. And I was expecting it to be something like two years. But <sighs> I don't know. Ooh, just seeing my older videos. Oh, it really made me miss the outcome of my hair. The process. Yeah, I guess I kind of enjoy it. But it's more like the outcome that, that I enjoy. I like being colorful. More than being blonde, like, it's about color, you know? Another thing that's fun for me is just surprising you guys, like, with different colors and freaking you out. That's so fun. I miss that. Oh. Well, here we are. I guess no need to miss it anymore because uh, blonde Nami coming through. <laughs> I don't know whether I'm excited or crying. This brush is actually, like, amazing. My mom gave it to me, like, just now, today, before I started bleaching my hair. I didn't tell her I was going to do this, but... I feel like she has suspicions. Has a comb. I'm gonna put it on thick like toothpaste. Man, you don't know how much I had to like withhold myself from bleaching my hair because of my pregnancy. They say though that it's probably okay to bleach and dye your hair while you're pregnant. Like the chemicals that enter your bloodstream don't really make it to the fetus. And some people have said that it is also the fumes that could harm the fetus. So want to be extra safe when I was pregnant yeah it's going it's going this is 20 volume wow what have I been doing my whole life with 40 wow wow Nami wow 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 how about you so pretty well saturated like toothpaste consistency is pretty pretty nice oh there was also somebody I found I'll put her channel right here but she also used 20 volume to bleach her Asian hair all the way platinum blonde. I was looking for ways to bleach with 20 volume since people were saying like it's doable. And I was actually so shocked at how blonde she got. Her video was the first one I saw with someone actually using just 20 volume. And then I found Jeffrey's video. I was re-watching Guy Tang's videos too and he does use 40 volume. Like Guy Tang uses 40 volume and I think that's like also a reason why <laughs> I wanted to do this again. <laughs> If you want to support this video and support this sad hair journey, please consider purchasing some merch. All of the money does go back into the channel and go back into making videos for you. So that'll definitely help us a lot. <sighs> the side of my face has become butchered. Like, <sighs> I don't know what to do with it. This is really hurting my joints. You know, after you give birth, up until six months, Postpartum, all the ligaments in your body are loose. Your body needs to accommodate for all of those shifts in your joints. It takes six months to go back. And so I can't even do the dishes. Like doing the dishes hurts my wrists. Oh gosh, what if Mina wakes up? Need hurry. How long has it been? Oh my gosh, it's been almost two hours. And I'm still putting this on. 20 volume and fine tiny sections with two toothpaste like bleach. Like this takes so long. Oh my gosh. Who does this? Me. I wonder how everyone's gonna react. Well, my mom will hate it. Actually, she'll be, she'll, she'll have mixed feelings. I think the kids won't care. Mina, for sure, she won't even notice because she's just a newborn. She only, she's only two months old right now. The boys, I think they'll just be like, eh, cool, good job, mom. Michael and I, though, however, we did decide that I'll stay black probably for a while, like probably two years. This was so impromptu. I just decided it like on Wednesday and I bought my bleach like on Wednesday because I didn't have any bleach. Last week I was telling him like, oh, I miss, I miss having colored hair. I miss the videos that I could make with my colored hair. And like, this was so fun. I felt like the colored hair was so neat. It's so bright and like crazy. And I'm like crazy. <laughs> Three minutes. I really don't want bleach to get on her. <gasps> my earring! Oh my gosh, this is gold guys, don't worry. I won't die. Oh, I think it got in my eye. They do say though that like if you're experiencing postpartum depression and you can't handle like the baby's crying, sometimes it's good just to leave for 10 minutes and let the baby cry for 10 minutes because it's better than hurting the baby. So in the same way I'm using the same concept, you know, it's better than hurting the baby than to get bleach on her. She can wait three minutes. So because she woke up, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do. Good thing is I was able to finish 
putting on the bleach in like three minutes after she woke up. I think what I can do is I can probably feed her, put her back to sleep, and then check my hair. She'll probably go back to sleep in like 15, 20 minutes since it is like 1.30 in the morning. Mina, you don't know you. You don't know so you. Wow, good job. Ooh, sweaty though. Good morning. Actually, it's not morning. Go back to sleep. <gasps> Mina's first reaction to my hair. Hey, Mina, look at my hair. How do you like it? I'm going blonde. Do you know what that means, Mina? <laughs> oh, you. I'm sorry, I'm too close to you. That's what it means. It means chemicals. It means death. Look at it. <laughs> this is really hard. Normally, her head is on my arm, but now my head has to be on my arm to make sure no bleach gets anywhere. It's 1.30. The bleach started processing at 1.20, so hopefully we can just wait a bit. I'm gonna check it every like 10 minutes though. Excited. Instagram fam saw it first. <laughs> this is secret. Oh, it's on my eyebrows, dang. Oh, maybe I should bleach my eyebrows too. Yo, it developed so well. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. <laughs> I look like an ice cream cone. <laughs> Her head has been dead. Oh my god. Blonde Nami is back and better than ever. <laughs> These are all good video title ideas, eh? I think Yellow had woke up. What's that noise? Someone came into my house. Oma? Oma? I think she's on my live stream. Now I just re-over-processed my hair. 